to really help support their recovery. And as it turns out, that view is often held as well by healthcare professionals. Now, you had a great experience with your employer, um, supportive, engaging, can work with you on that. There was another survey that was done recently, and the news wasn't quite so good. This was in women with metastatic breast cancer. And in that survey, 50% of women left their jobs after their cancer diagnosis. Is that a squirrel, Zena? Were involuntary. And 20% more felt that they had experienced some job-related discrimination. And balancing treatment with your job is also important, right? you, you, you got to find some way to do one and and get it to jive with the other, and it's not always easy. Right, well, and I'm really glad that you put it that way because it's not one or the other. I mean, what you want to do is to figure out how you can do both, how you can have uh, the best support for your health and how you can thrive in the workplace. And there are lots of things that you can do um, to do that. First of all, a really good conversation with your doctor or healthcare provider to find out 